Little girl attacked by two dogs, followed by shots fired at a Grand Rapids home, wounding a man. Tonight, the question, are they connected? We've heard from the family of the dog bite victim, and now we're talking to the dog's owner. 24-hour News 8's Barton Dieters is in studio control tonight with that interview. Barton? Well, Susan, a five-year-old girl is still using a wheelchair after she was mauled two weeks ago by a pair of Rottweilers as she played in her southwest side neighborhood. Over the weekend, a 26-year-old man was shot on the porch of Little Chanel Brewer's home on Liberty Street near Hall Street in US-131. The Brewer family says the gunshots came from the home where the dogs lived. I didn't see the person's face. I know that he was just shooting from the house. The family said the shooting was in retaliation for the fact the dogs were taken away by animal control and that Chanel's mother wants the dogs destroyed. Why weren't they put to sleep? I don't understand that. Like, how are their lives more important than my daughter? Like, she could be dead. If it was not for her sister, she would be dead right now. Today, I talked to the owner of the two- and three-year-old dogs named Cash and Money. As one might imagine, she tells a dramatically different story. How did that I don't know. They are the ones that come to my house with guns. Nobody in here shot them. Maria Hernandez says while she feels bad for Chanel, she says her dogs are family dogs that have never had an issue with her young children or any others. I love them dogs like they was my own kids. Yes, they bit somebody. I feel bad for that little girl. She was poking them with a stick. Kent County Animal Control confirms that there are no other complaints on the record before May 15th. Chanel allegedly suffered significant injuries and witnesses said the dogs pulled at her like a tug of war. But my dog shouldn't have to suffer because of this. They already did their 10 days for biting that little girl. She's not going to be hospitalized forever. She's out of the hospital. She's doing fine. Hernandez says she will move her dogs out of the city if she gets them back. In a result of all this and me fearing for my life and my kids, I'm moving. I'm about to sell my house so my kids don't have to live here. Now, Hernandez says she is seeking home invasion charges against the little girl's mother for kicking her door. Grand Rapids Police confirm they are investigating that complaint as part of the whole package of incidents at Liberty Street. Meanwhile, the dogs remain with the Kent County Animal Shelter. At 6, we will see what fate may be awaiting cash and money and where police are with the shooting investigation. In the control room, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.